Hello everyone, today's video is not so much about a comparison between two saws, it's more to sort of highlight visually and show the progression in battery technology and cordless tool technology in the time that I've been a carpenter. I started my carpentry apprenticeship in 1986 and at that time there was little or no cordless tools certainly here in the UK and the ones that did start to come on the market were fairly underpowered and didn't last very long and up into the early 90s more and more tools started to become cordless and the manufacturers were trying to make more and more tools cordless rather than just you know battery drills and screwdrivers so what i'm going to show you in this video is realistically the first cordless circular saw i've bought and the latest slash last cordless saw i've bought and the huge difference between the two and the technologies and obviously the functionality and power that these newer machines can bring you over the earlier older machines. So what we have here is the two saws I'm talking about, both from DeWalt, both uh, cordless. The right hand side is the brand new DCS578 which is a 54 volt 190 mil saw and on the left hand side it's the old DW936 which is, uh, I can't even remember what size the blade is, 135 mil, uh, back from the early 90s, I think 94 I bought it. So let's have a little look in those. So as you can see from this, this is the, uh, the earlier DeWalt saw. Um, it's in very good condition because I didn't really use it that much, mainly because it was, wasn't particularly powerful. Um, it, it was all right on the cabinet type side of things, but anything sort of softwood over an inch, 18 mil thick, it wasn't really very good. And then obviously right up to date, 2020, we've got this absolute weapon of a saw. Um, this is the um, DeWalt DCS 578 190mm. It's the latest one with it's got an upgraded motor on it, 54 volt battery. It looks like an absolute beast. I haven't used it yet. But I'm going to talk a little bit about these saws and the the journey from the sort of technology of this cordless saw right up to this one as I see them as an end user. So I'll just talk about this this one first. I think I bought this in 94, maybe 95 at the latest when it was sort of a brand new technology and everyone's raving about them. and I was doing a lot of um, solid oak lockers fitting them around the country and um, we all sort of rushed to get these and they were good on the lighter sort of 18 mil MFC panel work but anything other than that it, it really did struggle. It used the XR2 18 volt I think they were NICAD batteries on these earlier ones so you didn't get particularly long run times and as I said it wasn't particularly powerful. Now ironically it was this saw here and the battery technology that went with it that actually made me move away from DeWalt because again this is my perception in the trade. It seemed that DeWalt's battery systems got sort of overtaken by companies like Makita who seemed to they seemed to embrace the nickel metal halide batteries earlier and the litho and iron batteries earlier so I kind of made a jump from the DeWalt platform onto the Makita platform and consequently stayed with it uh, for, for many many years right up until recently but what I had been finding um, and, and that's sort of as much as I'll say on that saw it, it was it was a it was a, an okay saw but it certainly didn't replace your corded you know 190 mil skill saw, circular saw, whatever you want to call it. So it was a bit more of a, not a toy, but it didn't seem like it was the real deal. So as I said, I went on to the Makita platform and right up until recently. What I had found was on the odd occasion on site, if I went to grab someone else's DeWalt drill, and this is recently up until the last few years, it, they always seem like they've got a lot of power. I mean, my Makita stuff's great, and you don't, it's not always about power, it's not always like maximum torque blasting in everything. You know, carpentry, sometimes you need muscle, sometimes you need refinement. So I, I knew it seemed that the DeWalt stuff did seem to be quite powerful. 
um, you know, just a standard 18 volt DeWalt tool seemed to be outpower a standard 18 volt Makita tool. So that brings me right up to date with this bad boy. Now in my other videos, you know, you'll see that I've got a couple of the Makita 165mm saws and they are brilliant saws as you can see, it, 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 as I said in the video, but they are they're good for most of what I do roofing, except if I get a if I get a big roof where I've got big hips, big valley rafters, um, they're just I have to get the corded saw back out. So what I've done is I've invested in this um, tool. I worked with a chap a couple of years ago who had a 54 volt one, and I was blown away with how how good it was. Yes, they're slightly heavier, but you get the freedom um, of being cordless. So I think the, the sort of the main thrust of what I'm showing here is just to see the massive development um, between the sort of technology, the earlier battery cordless technology of this saw, and then right up to date with the vast, it was a stellar difference between this technology and that one. And I know that these two tools, they would never be used for the same thing, but when I bought this in 95, there was nothing like this available whatsoever. And now I think we've got to the point where this 190mm machine will perform and possibly outperform its corded counterpart. I mean, and that's absolutely amazing. And we're seeing this throughout not just my trade, but without, throughout the building industry and, and any industry that uses tools. This cordless technology is, is absolutely amazing and it's, it's, it's made such a difference. And also, one thing I will say which is relatively amusing is that we now as carpenters we have all these wonderful tools and you know I, this one as you can see it's in really good condition and i've still got the box and um, the batteries obviously uh, gave up the ghost long ago but the irony is now is that of all the tools that we've got to do our job now as carpenters back in 1986 when i first started all the hand tools that i used to do my job with the exception of a four foot level would have more or less fitted in the box that that new saw fits in on its own. So they would have literally, all of my hand tools would have fitted in a box about the size of this. We, we made them slightly longer so we could get a hand saw in, but they, it just sums it up where we're at, that, that the box that holds that single machine, when I was apprentice, it would have held all of my hand tools. So our job is much, much easier with the development of cordless technology from these kind of tools to these kind of tools. So I'm not going to show, uh, put a battery in this. I couldn't, oh yes I could actually because because the batteries go with the ghost. What I did a few years ago, I just wanted to use this for, to cut some plastic trim, was I actually uh, chopped the old XR2 battery up and fitted in the base of an old impact Makita impact driver I had. So basically that allowed me to stick that in there and then put a Makita battery on it. Um, and now there is actually, I think DeWalt do their own battery adapter that converts the old XR and XR2 type batteries to their new, um, I don't even know what they're called now, uh, the new XR 18 volt system. So I might, I might re 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 revive this, but it's like, a, it's like an old lady now. It's 20, 26 years old, so it would seem a shame to start giving it a beating on site. So yeah, it, it's not, there's absolutely no point me making a video showing these two cutting, because this one obviously, you know, if, if this one will barely cut, you know, the crust off your pudding, whereas this one will probably cut through the earth's crust. So, they're fantastic bits of kit. So there you go, just a short video, maybe a slight bit of fun. Um, I thought it was interesting when I, I hooked out this old saw, I was just putting some other kit, I've got a big vault that I put stuff in, and I just thought, I hooked that out and it was just, it really struck me how much different this one was to this one. So I hope you've found it vaguely entertaining. Thanks for watching.